By the end of this video, you'll completely understand the rules of pickleball singles. And hang around until the end because I'm gonna show you some real gameplay so all of this makes sense and you'll be crystal clear on how it works for the next time you go out and play. To start, singles is played first to 11, win by two. And just like doubles, there are three fundamental rules to follow. Number one, the serve rules. Here's the gist. Both your feet must be behind the baseline. One foot can be hovering over the line, but one foot must always be on the ground when you make contact. So you can't jump in the air to serve. You must serve underhand. A couple nuanced points to this. The paddle face must make contact with the ball below your wrist and also below your waist. But the gist is you just have to serve underhand. And listen, you can also hit a drop serve and all those nuanced rules then go out the window. Just know you can only drop the ball. You can't throw it down to make it bounce higher. Now on the serve, the ball must go diagonally across the net. Also, the ball must land beyond the kitchen line. If it lands on the kitchen line, it's a fault. If it hits any other line beyond the kitchen, you're good. Here's fundamental rule number two, the two bounce rule. Now, if you're from tennis, you know about the serve and volley, where a player serves the ball, charges the net, and hits the ball out of the air for a put away. You can't do that in pickleball. In pickleball, each player must let the ball bounce once on their side before they can hit the ball out of the air, which is also called a volley. Now, after the ball has bounced once on each side, you can now legally hit the ball out of the air as long as you are behind the kitchen line. Now, let's talk about the third fundamental rule, the kitchen rules or the non-volley zone rules. And listen up, because these are the rules that most confuse people when they first start playing. Now, as I said earlier, another name for the kitchen is the non-volley zone, because you can't hit the ball out of the air when you're standing in the kitchen. Because if you could, the game would look totally different. If you hit the ball out of the air, your feet can't touch the kitchen line or be inside the kitchen line. If you hit a ball out of the air and your momentum carries you into the kitchen, even if the point is quote over, that's a fault. If the ball bounces into the kitchen, you can step in there all day and get that ball. You don't have to wait for the ball to bounce before you step in. You can anticipate the ball bouncing and get in there early. So after stepping in to get the ball, make sure you get out of there. Get both feet reestablished behind the kitchen line immediately so that you're able to hit a ball out of the air legally. Now, here's five ways to win a point. If your opponent hits the ball out, you win a point. If your opponent hits the ball into the net, you win a point. If your opponent lets the ball bounce twice on their side, you win a point. If your opponent commits a kitchen violation, you win a point. If your opponent gets hit by the ball, you win a point. So now that you understand the three fundamental rules of the game, let's show you some real gameplay and put all this together and then show you how the scoring system works. Team Kyle versus Team Zach. Disappear to your baselines in three, two, one, boom. Three quick things before we get started. Number one, you can only score points when you're the one serving. It's just like doubles. Number two, you only get one opportunity to serve. So if I serve and I miss it into the net or I miss it long, I don't get a second serve like in tennis. It just goes to the other side, which is the third thing. If I lose on my serve, it's called a side out, meaning the other person gets a chance to start serving and scoring points. Here we go. The first server will always start in the right box. Zero, zero. <sighs> Boom. I just scored that point. So now it's one zero. And you can only score points when you're the one serving. So I served it and I won on this side. Now I'm gonna switch over to the left side. It's one zero. Boom. Zach missed it out. It's now two zero. Now here's something important to know. What side do you stand on? How do you know? Well, here's the rule. If you have an even number, zero, two, four, six, eight, or 10, and you're the one serving, you will always be on the right box. If you have one, three, five, seven, or nine, you will always be serving on the left box. The position you are on the court, the right box or the left box, is always determined by whoever's serving and what their score is. So I have two, so I'm an even. I'm serving on the right side still. Two zero. Ah. Boom. Score again. I go over now. It's three zero. Zach, you need to get a stop, baby. Ha ha ha. Three zero. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, shoot. Good ball. 
So I lost that exchange, meaning a side out occurs. All side out means is now I lost my chance to serve and score points. Now Zach takes over. It's now his chance to serve and score points. We're gonna be on the right side because our position is determined by the person who is serving and what their score is. Zach has zero, meaning we're on the right side. Zero, three. Nice, nice, nice. So Zach scored that one. Now Zach moves over to the other side. It's now one, three. Ah, missed it by a mile. <laughs> so it was one, three. Okay, now three, one. Boom, Zach right. missed it into the net. I have four. I'm gonna switch over to the other side. Four, one. Now, Zach has one. You might be saying, well, Zach has one. He should be on the left side. He's odd. No, your position is always determined by whoever is serving and what their score is. So I have four. That's an even number. We're on the right side. Let's fast forward. Zach right now is up 11-10. If he has 11, that means he's on the left box. Here we go. Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, Zachary, you didn't deserve it. That was the best 12-10 win of my life. <laughs> All right, good plan, Zach. Good plan. You didn't deserve it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> pickleball singles, baby. So those are the rules for pickleball singles and how the scoring system works. If you have a friend who's about to go play or they don't know the rules, take the link from this video and send it to them. Now, if you're looking for the rules for doubles pickleball, click this video right here. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. I think I'm such a weirdo. Seriously, click the video. Click it. Click the video. Send it. Send the video. Click the video. <laughs> they probably think I'm an idiot. Click that video. It's right there. <laughs> click the video. Shut up!